Hey guys, how we all doing? It's me, Gloria. I'm coming to you with card number nine of my Halloween cards, okay? Today I am using a file from Mrs. Kate's Cuttables. It was a free file back in September of a cat on a pumpkin. So that's the file that I'm using. And my card is going to be an A2 size card. And the paper pack that I end up using is this Haunted Hollow. And I got this from Tuesday morning just the other day, which was really, really surprised because my Tuesday morning have not Tuesday morning, I'm sorry guys, TJ Maxx. My TJ Maxx have not been having anything for way over a year, guys, okay? I mean, it's just been so horrible. So, I ended up finding this pack and a Martha Stewart uh, paper pack. Let me show you real quick. So, if you guys want, head out to your uh, TJ Maxx and see if they have one in your store. And this uh, Martha Stewart Halloween pack. And this comes with 24 sheets, and it was $4.99, and then this American Craft one was $5.99. And the paper pattern that I'm using today, it is going to be this orange polka dot one, okay? So let's get started. My card is going to be, uh, like I said, an A2 size, and I have a black piece of cardstock and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. So this is eight and a half by five and a half and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. And I'm going to have this portrait style. So I hope everyone's doing really good. I am doing marvelous. I am finally trying to uh get myself situated so I can pick out a winner from my giveaway sketch challenge and I had 15 people that entered and I'm so happy it was definitely awesome okay so let's start decorating the inside now for the inside I have this orange not orange this green like a, a paralyzed green paper then I have the pattern paper and I did, I used my edge corner and I just uh, did corner, round cornered both of these edges on both sides. And then I have a purple layer. Then I have the white layer. Then I have a trim that I'm going to add right here. Okay, so let me glue all of this together. So yeah guys, um, I'm up for my design team. So... I'm trying to see what I'm going to do. My card's supposed to be based as for girls. So, I'm rooting around right now. The, you know, because this month is Cancer Awareness Month. And um, I really don't do no cards for that. So, I figured that's what I'm going to do for my design team. So, we'll see. I am up on the 16th. So I need to start working on that. Okay, and then I'm going to add this white cardstock. So guys, Saturday, this past Saturday, my son had a competition in his uh, JROTC and um... I had went there, and oh my god, guys, it was so hot that day. There was no shade. I mean, there was plenty of water to drink. <laughs> oh, I'm way out of frame. Sorry, guys. Um, there was plenty of water to drink, but there was hardly any shade. Okay, that looks good right there. And now I'm just going to add this to the inside of my card. Now, the Happy Halloween stamp that I end up using for the inside is from My Creative Time with Emma. And let me do this side. Okay, and 
the stamp set that I ended up using was Happy Halloween. I ended up using this brackets right here. And I used the cat stamp. Okay. So there goes the inside. It's really simple. Now let's start decorating the outside. Now for the outside, I have the green cardstock. I have my purple one. Then I have my pad and paper. And I'm going to hear all of these together. So this cut file that I got from Mrs. K's Cuttables is adorable, guys. You can find it in the 50 cents uh, store. So if you would like to re re uh, remake this card, definitely go over to Mrs. K's Cuttables. Go to the 50, 50 cents store. Her files are so darn cute. And sweetheart, let me tell you, they are so affordable. I just love her. I just love her files. They are so unique, so cute. Okay. And there goes my card. And now I'm just going to adhere it to my card base. And that's about it. All the layering. This card's going to be really simple, guys. I've been really uh, trying to focus on making simple cards. I mean, I like the other cards, don't get me wrong. But, you know, they're time consuming. But, to me, they don't seem like they're time consuming. But, you know, a lot of times, I want you guys to make the same type of cards I make, you know. So, in order for me to do that, I had to try to figure things a little bit more easier. Now... This is crooked, so give me a second. It's going to be really quick. Okay, so now... I end up having a file and it's sort of like a border. I end up cutting it longer and then I had to trim it this way and it just ended up being the perfect size for what I needed. So you see guys, so this is going to act like my little grass border. So I'm going to glue this to the front of my card. And for some reason, let me add a little bit of glue right here. Okay, sorry guys. So now I'm going to put my little grass border down. Okay, now I have this bottom piece that's going to adhere right here. So let me get my tweezers because I want to make sure that I position this straight. Okay, and now I want to add it like to the middle. And does that look straight? Yeah, straight as it's going to be, guys. Okay, now. Here goes my pumpkin part, and what I ended up doing was I cut out a circle, then I cut the circle in half, and I did two triangles. It did not come out perfect, guys, but 
it makes it look different. And then the, on the other half of the circle, I used my white gel pen and I made some teeth. Because it was just plain. So, you know, I just wanted to do something like that. And while I'm thinking about this, let me use my Wink of Stella around the greenery. So it pops out even more. Okay, and I like this floral. It cut really good on the Explore. Now, I was doing another cut, and my Explore could not cut out the cut. It was just, like, off. But it happens. You're going to get some things that your machine ain't going to be able to cut out. Okay, that looks good. Now, I'm going to add this to the bottom of the shadow, just like that. So, you see how cool that looks, guys? And I put some glossy accents on the outside of the pumpkin. So, I'm just going to adhere this straight down. Let me kind of unclog my glue. Okay, and I'm just going to add this to just like that. That looks pretty cool. It looks cool just like that. Okay, now... Here goes my cat. Now my cat, I got glossy accents on the eyes, but not, they're not totally dry. So I got to be really, really careful. And um, I put a little uh, bling in the middle of the eye. And I thought this cat came out so darn cute. I'm telling you, her cuts are amazing, guys. They are amazing. Okay, so now I'm just going to add this to my card. I think I need to cut off a little bit of this uh, tape. Just a little bit. Because I want to make sure that it's laying down, but I also want it to be the top half be popped up okay okay let's try this again it worked okay and then I might gonna put some of these black beads up here just to give it a little accent and then one more right here and there you go guys there goes my card and I end up using the Scrappy Mom stamp set and it's the sentiment that I use it says the smallest pumpkins has the biggest grin 
And this is why I wanted to put a little face on the pumpkin, you know, so it would have came out just perfect. And I got that sentiment from A Haunting We Will Go, and it's uh, the smallest pumpkins has the biggest grin. So there you go, guys. There goes my Halloween card number nine. I hope you guys enjoy. I definitely like how it came out. It was quick. It was easy. It was simple. It's starting to come to me a little bit at a time. But you know, every time I do my cards, I do tend to want to put more than what it's supposed to. Because my mind starts to rolling. And when it starts, guys, it's so hard to stop. It really is. There's so many people that ask me, how do I come out with my ideas? It is just funny. A lot of times I look at my stamp sentiments. And if I can't get an idea from that, I look at my cut files. And if there's a cut file that is adorable, I cut that out first. Then I go and I pick my papers out next. Because you always want to, to me, I try, I try to coordinate my papers with my cuts. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. It all really all depends. So, and you know, a lot of times I've just, it just comes to me. I mean, lately I've been really slowing down. I haven't been throwing out as many cards as I used to. But, you know, it was, it's because I got a lot going on in my life, you know. I'm constantly busy. I never have no time for myself though, so this, whenever I get to make a card for you guys, this is time for me, okay? So guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. Thank you for coming by. I hope you enjoy my card. Thumbs up if you would like. Comment is well, really appreciated. And um, um, like I said earlier, head over to your uh, TJ Maxx and see if they got anything up in your stores. I ended up finding two paper pads and... There was actually three different styles, but I didn't like the third one. It really wasn't my type of style. So there goes my card. Thank you for joining me. Bye. The smallest pumpkins have the biggest grin. Yay. And then the inside says, Happy Halloween. Thank you so much. Bye now.